take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a slow, calm, relaxing breath. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of stress or tension to feel like it can leave your body in your outward breath. So that as you breathe in and breathe out, you are able to gently glide towards a feeling of wonderful relaxation, enabling you to just let go and deeply relax. I want you to notice with your eyes closed, you can feel the heaviness of your eyelids, a wonderful feeling of relaxation spreading from those tiny muscles around the eyes, that you're able to feel a wonderful feeling of calmness. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine breathing in a color that represents gratitude for you. For many people, it's a glowing yellow light, a warm light. So imagine breathing in a wonderful feeling of gratitude. And as you exhale, letting go of any stress, any frustrations, As what no longer serves you leaves your body, allow the next breath in to be a deep, wonderful feeling of gratitude. As your body starts to feel lighter and more relaxed, I want you to think about all the different components of your body. And to start thinking that If even just one or two of these components were no longer there, your life would change radically and you may not even be able to live. So as you breathe in and breathe out, I will focus your attention on different parts of your body and you will activate a wonderful feeling of gratitude. Breathing in and breathing out. I want you to really think about your brain. Breathe in a feeling of gratitude for your brain's ability to think, dream, create and solve complex problems. And then exhale, feeling a wonderful feeling of gratitude for everything your brain does for you. Breathing in and breathing out. I want you to focus your attention on your eyes. Comprehend their position in the eye sockets, the complex nerves that connect the eyes to the brain and feel a wonderful feeling of gratitude for the gift of sight. That sight itself allows you to witness the beauty of the world from sunsets to the faces of those people you love the most. To feel a wonderful feeling of deep appreciation. And then focus your attention on your ears. And maybe you can think of all the wonderful things to be thankful for. Perhaps for the ability to hear music, laughter, to understand the intentions of people around you, and to hear the voices 
of those that you care about. Really connect with that feeling of gratitude as you now focus on thinking about your mouth. Feel that appreciation for your mouth's ability to enable speech and communication for allowing you to express thoughts and feelings with your words. And maybe you can think of the other things that you can do with your mouth. Kiss a loved one. To taste the wonderful flavors. I want you to get a sense of gratitude for your mouth as you now focus your attention onto your nose. Really feel a wonderful sense of thanks for your sense of smell. Appreciate that it helps you to enjoy the aromas of food, the scent of flowers, to experience nature. That some of your most wonderful memories are connected to a smell just one smell can take you back to a moment in time. So give thanks to your nose and everything connected to it. As you now focus your attention onto your hands. Give thanks to your hands for their dexterity, their ability to write to cook, to create art, to touch. I want you to get a sense then. The way that you interact with much of the world is using your hands. So much of what enabled humans to do what they do is the addition of the thumb. And I want you to get a sense that perhaps your job, your impact on the world is directly linked to your hands and what they do for you. So give a wonderful feeling of gratitude to your hands and then shift your attention to your heart. And if you pay close attention you might be able to feel your heart beating. Really focus on that beating heart and give thanks. Give thanks to your heart for pumping life-sustaining blood throughout your body, but also being a symbol for love and emotion. Where would you be without your heart? So give thanks to that heart beating right there in your chest. And then shift your focus to your lungs. And in the same way you focused your attention on your beating heart, now focus your attention on the movement of your chest and diaphragm as you breathe in and breathe out. Feel it rise. Feel the air leave your lungs and then inhale the next breath and feel that wonderful feeling of gratitude to your lungs for providing the breath of life, allowing you to breathe in fresh air and oxygenate your body but also to expel the waste, that carbon dioxide that your body doesn't need anymore. Give thanks to your lungs for doing everything that it does. And then shift your attention to your stomach. As you think about your stomach, appreciate 
the dynamic nature. It can become bigger. If you eat very big portions, it can become smaller. If you only drink liquids or go on a fast. But I want you to feel a wonderful feeling of gratitude for your stomach and its role in aiding digestion. Allowing you to enjoy and process a variety of foods. As you give thanks to the miracle of your stomach, now shift your attention to your legs and your feet. Give gratitude for your legs for enabling mobility, that ability to walk, run, maybe dance. And then think of your feet. That legs without feet wouldn't work. So give thanks to your feet for supporting your body, helping you to stand, to walk, to balance. Get a wonderful memory perhaps of you enjoying the movement of walking or running, of using your body. And then focus your attention on your skin. The skin is the largest organ in the body. And I want you to feel a wonderful feeling of gratitude to your skin for protecting internal organs, regulating body temperature, and being the biggest form of interacting with the world through touch or skin on your fingers on your arms filled with nerves detecting pressure keeping you safe from danger breathe in and breathe out and feel a wonderful feeling of gratitude for your skin and then think about your immune system that there is a whole system inside your body designed to protect you. From your tiny white blood cells to your lymphatic system to your body's ability to have a reaction. Even a temperature when you have a cold or a fever is your body's reaction to keeping you safe. So give that wonderful feeling of gratitude to your immune system for defending against illness and keeping you healthy. And every now and then, an immune system can be overactive or not active enough. And I want you to, as you give thanks and gratitude to your immune system, give permission for your immune system to reset, to recalibrate, the equivalent of pressing control, out and delete on a computer, just reset it all, so it restarts at the exact optimum level for your body. And as you feel that wonderful feeling of gratitude for your immune system, shift your focus to your muscles. You don't have to lift weights to appreciate your muscles. You couldn't walk, couldn't move without your muscles. There's many muscles in your face, and therefore you couldn't talk without muscles. So feel a wonderful feeling of gratitude for the strength, the movement, the ability to engage in physical activities that muscles make it possible for you to do. And then perhaps imagine what you would look like if your whole body was x-rayed and you could only see your bones. Maybe see that skeleton, the skull at the top, the spine, the rib cage, and get a wonderful feeling of thankfulness and appreciation for the bones, the framework for your body. And feel that gratitude for it 
providing structure and support to your body. That without bones, you would just be a blob there on the floor. So feel that wonderful feeling of gratitude for the bones that give structure to your entire existence. And then focus on your fingers. Even more dexterity than the function of the hand is the individual fingers. So many things that you can do. But also imagine that they are away. A way for you to interact with people. Think of a time when you just touch someone lightly. That the feeling of touch had a meaning. So give that wonderful feeling of gratitude to your fingers for everything they do for you. Particularly those intricate tasks. Think about your back. And give thanks for supporting your body's structure. Posture. That your back itself is the key intermediary between your head and the framework for your torso. As you breathe in and breathe out, really think about your teeth. And maybe you can feel your teeth inside your mouth with your tongue and give a wonderful feeling of appreciation for the role of your teeth in assisting in speech, aiding in the whole process of digestion, but also giving you that wonderful smile and that same tongue that was checking the position of your teeth. Feel a wonderful feeling of gratitude for that same tongue, for the taste, for the enjoyment, for everything your tongue does for you. And you could imagine life without a tongue and it would be a different place. So feel that wonderful feeling of gratitude for the fact that you have a tongue and it does its job so well. As you think about your brain and all those neurons and nerves throughout your body have this wonderful feeling of appreciation for your nervous system. Its role in transmitting signals between different parts of the body and the brain. And there are certain parts of your body that have more nerves, can pick up on more sensations, and it all links back to the nervous system. So feel that wonderful feeling that you wouldn't exist without it, and therefore you can be so grateful for this wonderful system that exists within your body. And then start thinking about some of those internal organs like your kidneys. Feel the appreciation that you have something in your body that filters out waste, contributing to your overall bodily health and then your liver for detoxifying chemicals and metabolizing drugs. And then your pancreas for regulating your blood sugar levels aiding in digestion that there are so many things in your body and you can be grateful for all of them just as you need your lungs to breathe in oxygen you need the blood to transport it 
those tiny white blood cells that a part of your immune system also exists within your blood. So feel a wonderful feeling of gratitude for the fact that you have blood going through your veins, being pumped around your body by your heart, that it can transport oxygen and nutrients throughout the entire body, playing a crucial role in your immunity and healing. And I want you to imagine you become different parts of your body. And as you give thanks to these different body parts, feel the feeling of appreciation that you are acknowledged for your essential role. In the quiet whispers of my mind, a melody of gratitude begins. For this wondrous body, a symphony of wonders within. With every beat, my heart composes a rhythmic living song, pumping life's elixir with love and strength so strong. Eyes like luminous lanterns capturing the world's embrace, revealing in silent awe the beauty of every face. Ears the gentle receiver of laughter's merry tune, capturing the softest whispers of the wind, the night, the moon. My hands, the crafters of dreams in tender touch they speak, grasping the world's wonders, strong yet soft and sleek. Legs, the pillars of my journey stride with purpose and grace, carrying me through life's dance in this vast, endless space. Feet rooted deep in earth, yet light enough to roam. Wandering paths unseen, yet always guiding home. Lungs, the quiet bellows, breathing in life's dance. Filling my being with air, giving dreams a chance. Skin, the guardian cloak. A barrier so divine, protecting the stories within in its intricate design. And muscles, the silent warrior's strength in every fiber, moving, lifting, holding, in efforts never tire. Bones, the framework of my being, a scaffold strong and true supporting every motion in everything I do. In every thought and action, my grateful heart does sing. For each part of this body and the life they bring. In this hypnotic trance of thankfulness, my spirit does take flight, embracing every part of me in the day and in the night. And so I honor this temple with kindness and care, a vessel of wonder beyond compare. For in gratitude's soft embrace, I find my truest might. In this body, in this moment, in this magical life's light. As you breathe in and breathe out, feel 
the energy shift as there is this wonderful feeling of gratitude for every cell in your body for everything your body does for you and I want you to unlock a desire to do natural things as a thank you gift to your body maybe it's walks in nature to give your body fresh air maybe it's drinking more water maybe there's certain nutrients your body desperately needs and you can reward your body with those wonderful nutrients allow your mind to explore and wonder all the different things that you can do for your body breathe in and breathe out and allow your mind to wander if the time is right for your body to awake then your body will awake and if it's time for your body to drift off into a wonderful sleep then allow your body to drift off into that wonderful sleep with a wonderful feeling of gratitude waking when you are refreshed and rejuvenated and the time is just right.